Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Cloud Ops Junction. So in this video, we are going to have a look on SCCM software metering. So what is software metering? What is the purpose of it and how we can configure in our environment? So if I talk about the software metering, software metering uh, can be defined as a process of monitoring or measuring software uh, using software measuring software usage and the gain inside application utilization so long story short uh, it's a mechanism by which you can actually collect the data from any of the application that you wanted to configure that how often that application is used and by whom okay suppose i wanted to get a report that uh, i have an application called google earth on my environment and i wanted to know that what I will do, I will configure the software metering rule for them and uh, by that software metering rule will collect the data and will send it to the SCCM database and from the SCCM database what we can do, we can generate a report and from that report we we can come to know that who 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 is the end user who is using that application, how long they are using it, how many time in a day they are using it, what is the frequency of the usage, so everything that can be uh, that can be monitored from the uh, this uh, software uh, monitoring rule or uh, software monitoring mechanism that we can't call so what is the purpose and what is the benefit of using it the first benefit is the license compliance the software metering aspect is ensure that the organization remain compliant with the software license agreement by tracking usage of it and it helps to prevent over license under license or over utilization suppose I have a license called uh, suppose I have been using an application called Adobe AutoCAD and I have purchased a license of 400 users by chance uh, it could be possible that uh, I have purchased the license for 100 users however the users are not using the, those applications so they don't want it so what can be happened that uh, only 80 users are using it so I'm paying 20 extra so how we can how we can find it who is using and when they are using it to come up with this problem what we can do we can configure the software metering rule for Adobe AutoCAD and what it will do it will give you a, a report for 30 days 20 days 15 days or three months six months or a year that how the license is being used from from this duration so if a license we have purchased about 100 license and only 80 are uses so we can uh, we can keep five in buffer and we can release five 15 license so that we can save some cost over there now cost optimization by understanding the application which is the heavily used and which are under utilized in your organization can be optimized with their specific spending so this insight enable them to uh, reallocate the license and the resources more effectively so that's the example of uh, cost optimization application rationalization the software metering provide data to support application rationalization effects so organization can identify uh, redundant or rarely used applications to streamline their software portfolio so that's the example of uh, uh, let's do one thing. Let's jump into the uh, our SCCM lab and try to configure. Let's see what are what are the prerequisites and how we can configure in our in our environment. So now we are on the SCCM console right now. So there is a you can call it as a prerequisite that uh, whenever we are configuring the software monitoring, but we need to we need to make some changes on the client setting end so to do that what we will do we will go on to the administrator we will go on uh, client settings and let's we only have a one client setting that is a default setting so what I will do I will give, give, click on properties and I will change the settings over there now over here you will find an option called software monitoring metering uh, software this is the software metering so by default it is enabled and this is the scheduled that it will run every seven day let's do one thing uh, let's keep it every one day or every 
let's keep it for every minute because we don't have a big environment what we will do but ideally it should be either uh, after three days two days or seven days normally people keep it for seven days so that it doesn't, does not generate much data so let's keep it for every minute because we will we will be using it for for a small chunk of uh, application so we'll click on ok and apply now what we have to do we have to create a rule so to create a rule we will go on uh, asset and compliance we will click on software metering over here uh, we have to right click on it or we have to go over here and we can create it let's create a software metering rule and let me see what application okay we have uh, uh, Microsoft Edge over here so let's create it Microsoft Edge I will give a name Microsoft Edge sorry it's Microsoft Edge file name we have to browse it we have to give the path of the Microsoft Edge so the file name what is file name over here so on the file name we have to give the path of the exe from where it is getting triggered so in our case we have taken Microsoft Edge so let's browse it uh, let's go on C drive I think it should be on uh, program 86 x86 uh, oh yeah it's there uh, edge applications so we have to choose the exe path over here the executable path we have chosen it so at version it has already taken it however if you are not sure about a specific version if you don't want to have that specific version to be uh, to be scanned what you can do you can put a star what it will do now it will uh, it will search every single version of Microsoft Edge or any application it's doing a wildcard over here now if a small description if you wanted to have it you can do it and if you have a multiple site and you're doing it from your cache you can actually select the size site code or site from here let's click on next and it should be finished now it is being configured now the rule is being configured okay however and it is enabled however to to run it to check it uh, what is required now how you can now there are a couple of reports by default that is enabled but uh, we can do it uh, if you want to monitor it that it has been configured or not what you can do you can download a small application called you can download a small application called uh, WMI Explorer let me show you Explorer oh sorry it was WMI sorry it's was WMI EXPLORE download let's download the WMI Explorer from the first link itself okay let me let I have the WM Explorer what I will do I will right click and uh, open it now you can create you can connect to a different computer also you can give the name or if you wanted to connect with the, to the, this machine only just click uh, a dot and click enter after connecting to it uh, what you have to do you have to go to the uh, CCM root CCM uh, and then you will find something called policies yes I do have the policies over here now on the right hand side you will find uh, uh, machines and over here you will find software metering if it is enabled or if it is configured uh, yes it's software metering rule is here so one rule is created that is chq001 this is the edge microsoft edge file and this is the id this is the version this is the actually wildcard that it is uh, that we have configured it through the wildcard so by this you can configure you can you can make sure that uh, the rule is configured uh, moreover uh, what you can do you can go on 
you can find it from the logs as well let me go to see program files okay let me open C program file Microsoft and you will find logs over here there will be a log called uh, MTR I guess metering uh, it's still not there because probably it has not started querying the or getting the information that was that's why you are not able to find it or let me do one thing let me go to the CCM folder and let's find it there uh, logs let me find it over there because it's yeah it's there let's open it here and there was rule number if I remember so now this rule is found a match let me find something else so you will find uh, that new rule CSD we you know, received successfully that's means it has been configured so if you wanted to find the reports as well what you can do you can go on to the monitoring and in the monitoring tab you can find the reports for the software metering over here let's go and find the reports uh, maybe it is somewhere between and you will find a couple of reports as per your need let's find the total let's run it and I hope that it will not give you the data because I have just configured it so you have to wait for some time to get the report generated because it's too early to fetch the details but let me try if I can do that no it's still not populating the details because it has not received the data but anyhow this is how you can configure and you can get the report generated and you can verify from WMX by WMI Explorer how the rules are configured and from the logs file as well that's all about the software metering if you are new to this channel please like and subscribe thank you so much for watching bye bye